I'm gonna be reviewing the Sense Labs Medium Tablet Bundle. This baby, right here. Now, I know I've never done any product reviews on my channel, so I'm pretty excited that Zense Labs actually wanted to send me something, as small as a channel as this is, for me to review. I wasn't paid a single dime. They didn't give me any instructions for what to write or anything. They just said, here's the product, please make a video within the month, and we want your thoughts. You guys know I'm a pretty honest guy. I'm gonna keep it a buck 50 with you. Everything that I say in this video is just gonna be my honest opinion about the product. So, let's jump into it. <laughs> So again, I was sent a review product, but was not paid for or instructed in the review of this product. My opinions are my own. I caveat this with saying I predominantly use Clip Studio Paint, which is where most of the testing occurred. Though when I tried using it in Photoshop, the input delay actually seemed a bit less. Photoshop was really responsive. And I only briefly messed around in Krita. But according to the website, all of these apps and OSs are supported. And we'll go into that more in a little bit. So what's included in this pen tablet bundle? Well, you get the medium tablet, you get a pen case, a drawing glove, which really makes you feel like a real artist. It also helps prevent smudges and Cheeto dust from getting on your new tablet as it smudges quite easily, but also cleans quite easily too. But I did notice smudging on it after working on it for a while. That was probably when I took my glove off every now and then. A carrying sleeve, great for those mobile setups. A USB-A to USB-C cable, one for the tablet, and a USB-A to USB-C cable L, one for charging the quick keys, which we'll get to in just a second. There is no standing pen holder. This effectively serves as their version of that. It's really nice to have all your pen-related necessities in a single carryable accoutrement. The pen case is nicely built with a matte finish. It feels weighty and high grade. The hinges are solid and slow moving. These can handle quite a few open and closes. There's two different pens, one thick and one slim. They're both battery free, each have 8,192 levels of pressure and a 60 degree tilt. The Slim feels good for fast gestural work. It has two customizable buttons on it, while the thicker pen feels better for longer term drawing and rendering, and it has three customizable buttons. They are not usable across devices. Tablet pens can only be used on this tablet, indicated by the respective colored logos. Yellow logo pens are for display tablets, black are for pen tablets. Apparently, they're gonna address this feature in a hardware update in the next year or so. And I'm glad they got back to me about that because I emailed them about this and they responded fairly quickly, which is honestly just a great part of Sense Labs. They're really communicative in their customer service department. There's a USB-C to USB-A dongle in this pen case. So for example, if you have a laptop that only has USB-C ports on it, you can plug in the tablet into this dongle and it will be able to plug into your tablet USB-C port. A wireless dongle for wireless Bluetooth connections. There's about 16 hours of battery life. I used mine wired the entire time but that's two full working days of battery life, which is really, really great. But since I work at a desk, I just kept it plugged in the entire time. A set of pen nibs and the pen nib ring to easily swap those pen nibs out. So how much does this cost? All in, the medium tablet bundle costs $349. If you just want the tablet by itself without the quick keys, glove and carrying sleeve, it's $249. Considering the quick key standalone price is that $100 difference, picking up the bundle is the way to go. Moving on to the software, Zense Labs have done a great job making their proprietary application for handling their hardware incredibly easy to use and easy on the eyes. The software is user-friendly, lightweight, and highly customizable. I like that their products come with small bits of customizable RGB in really tasteful places. On the pen tablet medium, the corners have light up RGBs that can be curated as you see fit. You can easily customize each pen, their respective pressure curves, and program the buttons on each pen. You can spend a lot of time customizing to your heart's content or do what I did and strip it down to what you really need in your favorite program of choice. Seriously, you can spend hours customizing every single button on your tablet or your pen in any program of choice. So if you are a 3D, 2D artist and you use Blender a lot, all of these buttons can have their own respective uses in Blender versus in Photoshop versus in Clip Studio versus Krita super flexible software. The Quick Keys are Zense Labs hotkey remote. It has an LED screen, which instantly sets it apart from competitors' remotes, as most other remotes are blank. For example, from XP Pen and Huon, they have similar functions, but the lack of an LED and what you're clicking on, it just really puts Zense Labs above the game here. It has eight programmable buttons with five different programmable modes, so up to 40 different custom inputs and a wheel on top, which is perfect for dilating and slimming down your brushes as you work or rotating your canvas. To compare this with the Wacom Intuos Pro Medium Tablet, Zense Labs have detached this built wheel and given it to you separately as a product that works across all its branded devices. 
separating the wheel apart from the actual drawing tablet allows for a larger active drawing area on the tablet, which I'm going to cover in the drawing experience section. So unlike the pens, the quick key remotes do work across all branded devices, which is awesome. So you only need to buy one of these one time. The wheel itself can have up to four different uses as well by clicking on the button in the center. The button on the bottom of the remote swaps out different hotkey loadouts for the suite of eight buttons. You can have a variety of different loadouts, a variety of different buttons for whatever program you're in for any need. It's crazy. This is what I'm saying. I just kept it really simple, stripped it back down for basically Clip Studio Paint and general use, and that's about it. The wheel has a buttery smooth rotation which lacks the tactile click I would typically prefer in my wheel of choice, but its smoothness doesn't lack precision and I never feel out of control with my inputs. You can also dictate your preferred orientation for the keys in the Zense Lab software app. I used mine in a landscape mode for the majority of the use with my medium tablet, so that way I could set it on my desk and use the wheel as I drew. It's also important to note, the quick keys can be used as a standalone separate device for other needs across your computer, which knowing that now, I'm definitely gonna use this in the future as a stream deck. Onto the drawing experience. This tablet has an active area of 10.33, so 10 and a third by 5.8 inches, which is a bit more generous than the Intuos Pro Medium's active area of 8.7 by 5.8. The tablet has a matte finish, which reduces glare and gives a comfortable non-slip feel. I initially liked the easier glide of my Intuos, however, over time, I began to prefer this toothier feel, and by the end of my time with painting, I didn't even notice it anymore. But there is a bit more resistance on this tablet than, say, the Wacom Intuos, which feels almost like an iPad or like glass. This non-slip matte finish actually does give a nice bit of resistance while drawing. Coupled with the software, the pens are very responsive, easy to use and program, and feel like you're getting your money's worth. For example, you could use a slim pen with a lighter sensitivity curve for more gestural work and keep the standard pen with an unadjusted curve or even a heavier curve for painting. The nice thing is just having two different options that you can customize how they feel when using, really just a nice quality of life experience to just pick up one pen for it to feel one way and then instantly pick up another and it feel a different way for different needs as you draw and paint. There are three customizable buttons on the top of the actual tablet itself. By default, the left button launches the Zense Labs app, the middle is the pressure settings page, and the right button switches between multiple displays, allowing you to navigate a multi-monitor setup with ease. The input supports Windows, Mac, and Linux out of the box. Anyone can use it, unless you're on Temple OS. Sorry, Terry. The Bluetooth experience felt as responsive as wired and comes with 16 hours of battery life on a single charge. Coupled with a carrying sleeve and slim profile, this is a great addition to a mobile workstation setup. In conclusion, if you're just getting your career as a digital artist started, a hobbyist looking to upgrade your tablet to something a bit more sturdy and professional, or even looking for an option to work professionally on the fly, the Zense Labs Pen Tablet Medium will be worth your investment, especially with this bundle. You just get so much added value. It's a solid product produced by competent, reliable people who came from Wacom and decided to create their own products. You get so much bang for buck by picking up the bundle, the quick keys, a sleeve, a drawing glove to prove you're the real deal.com. And honestly, having two fully customizable pens is just really nice. And that is the Zense Labs Medium Tablet Bundle. Now, I also wanna point out, I used my Wacom Intuos Pro for almost a decade. It's basically how I got my art career started. So no shame in buying a tablet to get started. In fact, something like this is so good for moving on the go, being mobile, and always just having a backup for some of those reasons that I listed earlier. For example, like when you're rendering and painting something for a long period of time, it's super helpful to just keep your stylus out of the screen. Like normally when I use this pen display now, cause I have a Zense Labs pen display, my hand gets in front of the drawings that I'm actually making. But with a drawing tablet, you can always see the screen and what you're working on at all times. One of the caveats is that I actually much prefer drawing on a display now. I feel like the actual gestural mark making that I do is much more accurate to what I'm trying to make. But for a starter, or even if you just wanna to upgrade to something nicer, cause you've been using like a really affordable entry level drawing tablet, this is so solid. This has been such a pleasant drawing experience. But again, I caveat that with saying I much prefer a, dis uh, a screen display at this point in my career. With that being said, guys, let me know what you think of this product. Are you gonna pick one up? Pick one up for a friend, for a relative? If so, please use my affiliate link in the description because again, I get a small kickback and it's one of the ways that you can support me and also buy a product that is beneficial to your career. Like, subscribe, share, 
all the usual stuff. Join the Lizard Legion for early access to videos, emojis during live streams that I do once every eight years because you don't wanna miss out on all the freaky cool content that I make around here, okay? You don't wanna miss out. Anyways, guys, have a good rest of your day. Until next time, make good art.